Hi everybody, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Taking a look at another knife from Rake today, uh, just like in the last episode. And uh, if you remember the last episode, it had uh, a different kind of box. So I've still got the knife here. It came in a box like this. Uh, most of the Rakes uh, come in this, just a pretty standard cardboard box. Take a look at it. Um, here is the model number on this. This is the P138W, and it is in desert sand color. Uh, these are made in China, and Rake is an imprint of uh, Phoenix flashlights. So, uh, same people who make those make these. Um, well, Phoenix is the one who markets these. Uh, these are, to my knowledge, made by Sanren Mu. Uh, Sanren Mu is a Chinese company, does a lot of OEM work for various brands, um, and they make uh, I'm, I'm almost positive they make the rake knives. Uh, they also make Boker Plus, and then a number of other brands as well. Uh, but, so decent, decent knives. See, just a little box, you've got your information uh, inside there. And here is the P138. Let's see, this is one the beer, all right. Uh, we are looking at five and a quarter or so inches long closed. Um, has a sort of a, I don't know, techno look, uh, very angular cutting in. Uh, not necessarily my favorite. Um, I, I do rut, like rake knives a lot. Uh, this is, as far as looks go, this is probably my least favorite one that I have out of, you know, 10, maybe a dozen. Um, it's just, it's a little thin. Well, here, let's take a look at this, then we'll open it up and talk about comfort. Uh, you can see this is a Desert Sand G10. Uh, it's, these are not all the same height. You can see you've got a little, this is a little higher than down here. Uh, helps with grip a little bit, I suppose. You got the G10 spacer. Um, and what I think is kind of an ugly pocket clip, although I suppose it does you know, mirror uh, what's going on on the handle. Um, but there you go. Right. This is, of course, a flipper. And here you have it. It has a Tanto style blade on it. Uh, not my favorite cell blade. Uh, I, I prefer a spear point or a drop point just because I find them more useful for what I do. You know, there are a lot of people who love Tantos uh, just because they fit what they like to do, and that's fine. Um, they just uh, are not my favorite type. See, the length on the blade is three, not quite three and three quarters. I suppose we could say three and five eighths. Uh, cutting edge right around three and a half, maybe just a hair uh, over that. Take a look at the blade. See the rake on it. P138W, uh, and then this dating system, which is the same dating system that San Ramu uses. Um, can tell you what month and year it's made. And then this serial number, each of them has a serial number. Uh, and then you can see this is made out of 14C28N, as were all of the rake knives at the time this was made. And this, I bought in early 2019, um, I bought a number of rake knives at that time, right uh, in the first year they were out, because I really did like them a lot, um, and I still do. Uh, I just don't carry them as much as I should. Uh, but they make some really good knives, I think, uh, and I, I you know, generally like them. Um, this, let's see, get a little swedge on here. Going to thin out that point just a little bit, but still be you know very strong. And it's going to have sort of a, well, can't really see it, but it's going to have sort of a rhombus profile uh, from the front. Um, now, to the comfort. This is not the most comfortable of the rake knives that I have. Um, the one that I showed last time, the, uh, what was it, the P105, uh, that one I find pretty comfortable. This, not so much, because this is a little bit narrower in the blade, and it again has fairly sharp corners, I think maybe even a little sharper than the other one. And because it's a little narrower, they seem, for me at least, to dig in a little more. 
Um, you know, I can, and this, I can feel this, but the way it fits, I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, so, you know, some people might like this a lot. Uh, for me, it, it's just, I wish it was a little, you know, a little thicker this way. I think it would feel better and give me a better, you know, more comfortable grip on it. That said, you know, if you like Tantos, uh, this is, I, I think this is a really nice knife, um, especially for the money. Now, I did look, and I think these are running about 50 to $52 now. I know I did not pay that. Um, I, I'm a cheap guy, okay? Uh, I think the most I paid for any of the rake knives, except for uh, a fixed blade that I'll maybe show at some point in the near future, um, but I think the most I ever paid for any of them was $29.99, uh, so 30 bucks. So th I can't recall paying more than that except for the fixed blade. So I'm thinking that this has gone up a lot uh, in the last few years. Um, but, you know, if you're in the market for something like this, 14C28N I think is just a great all-around steel. Um, so give it a check. You know, take a look, see what you think. All right. You all have a good day. I will catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching.